Hey guys, do it on a dime here. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some kind of weird things that have totally been working around our house for organizing. They're budget friendly and pretty much anybody has them. And this video was spurred on by one of my YouTube friends, Alejandra Costello. I'm gonna put a link to all of her stuff in the description, but she's a professional organizer and I just love the way she organizes with such bright and fun colors. She has such a magnetic personality. If you haven't seen her videos, like I said, I will link them down below. She's super, super sweet. Just kind of taking a peek into somebody else's organizing system, even if their house isn't laid out the same as mine or they don't have the same stuff, it really inspires me to think outside the box, which is why I love this community so much. So let me show you guys some of the things that we're using around our house for organizing that are kind of weird, but kind of cool. Okay, so we're in my den room, and this is where I keep some of Carson's toys in this organizer, but that's not what I wanted to show you. I actually wanted to show you this power strip organizer, and this is what Alejandra was asking me about. Now, in her office video, she had a really big one that probably held a lot more cords than mine does, and it's a lot nicer, but if all you have to corral is just one power strip, I love these baby proofers. They're the best. This brand is Safety First. It's only about seven or eight dollars, and it's got these little notches in it so you can extend this to be as long or short as you need it and it holds all of the cords in place and honestly I think it looks way better than it did before it's like it took having a kid to have this look organized and the other thing that I wanted to show you guys that I'm loving is behind this plant a lot of times I will plug my laptop in in fact if I'm downstairs I always use this to plug my laptop in so I'm just using one of those command hooks you can find these at the dollar store I think I paid like a dollar 99 for the pack and then here I can just take out yes of course I squished it and I had to put tape on it but anyways that's beside the point that tape does not need to be there but I can just take out my cord I can use my Mac and then when I'm done I can just stick it back here and I can put the plant in front of it and no one's the wiser and I just really think it cleans up this space I am so so happy with how this looks so the next thing that I want to show you guys is what I use to organize my makeup brushes. And the reason I'm not in the bathroom is because we're playing on the floor down here. But what I used to use was rice. And I didn't mind having the rice, but my main problem I was having was A, Luna, yes Luna, was eating the rice. It would like fall on the ground if it like got attached to the brush or something like that. And then Luna would eat it up, which was really gross. And the second thing is there was like this white powder on it that I couldn't get off even though I had washed it. So what I decided to switch over and use was Epsom salt. This stuff is even cheaper than rice, believe it or not. And I just think it looks so pretty. Let me take off the brush so you guys can see it. It's so crisp and white. It's way cheaper than getting like those little glass crystals that you can buy. And if it spills, oh well, it wasn't that expensive. It's completely natural and yeah it doesn't have that little powder on it so I really love this Epsom salt who would have thunk we've switched venues we're now playing with Tupperware on the floor yes we are so now we are in the kitchen by <laughs> thank you by the dishwasher and I just wanted to show you guys this most people have magnets right like the kind of magnets that they throw at you like businesses give for free and stuff like that just take a corner of it cut it down or just a spare magnet that you have and I labeled this clean on one side and dirty on one side with my label maker when it's clean we can just slip it to there and everybody knows and dishes don't get stuck in there when they're not supposed to be so we love this it was absolutely free kind of weird totally works so I thought that this one was basically a no-brainer, but after reading some of the comments, I didn't realize that not everybody does this. We use clothespins to close up our bags that have been opened. My family has like done this for generations. Tell me in the comments if you have always done this too, but it's completely free. You probably have it sitting around. We use clothespins for a lot of stuff around here. So this next tip came from one of you guys. If it was you, please leave me a comment down below. I can't remember if it was a message on Facebook or a comment, but one of you said you had a brilliant solution for storing remote controls. And serendipitously, the same day that I got this message, my husband was like, Catherine, where's the remote for the TV in our room? And I was like, okay, time for a change. So now what we do is we Velcro the remotes to the back of our television. I'm talking like the small TVs, like our bonus room TV, our kitchen TV, and our bedroom TV. Yes, we have TV in all those rooms and yes we watch them especially with, when I'm like cleaning and stuff I love having it I digress so velcro on the back 
and it's gonna be probably hard to see, but we just stick it onto the back of the TV just like that. It's really easy to find. Anytime you wanna watch the television, then we can just you know, put it back when we're done using it. We absolutely love it. If you're curious on where I got the Velcro to do this, most craft stores sell them for about $6, and most craft stores like AC Moore and Michaels have 50% off coupons or 40% off, so you can get it for about $3. So since it's super dark and hard to see, I took this out of my desk drawer for you guys. Did you know that the Dollar Tree bins perfectly fit post-it notes? Like perfectly. So whether you're putting them in this top way or whether you're putting them in, you know, like the long way like this, I love these things. They come in two sizes, a long size and a short square size. So super fun fact, next time you're in Dollar Tree, pick some of these up if you need to store your post-its. So my last weird tip for you is to have a junk basket next to your stairs to be totally honest we call this the crap basket <laughs> because we don't want to take like multiple trips upstairs to like you know carry things to a different part of our home it's not a very productive use of time so we just throw stuff that needs to go upstairs throughout the day in this basket and then take it all up in one load and then I've got a really easy way to transport my clutter upstairs and stay more productive so I'm not running all around the house putting things away <laughs> <laughs>